Hello and welcome back to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Uh, today we are on the website of Piano Auctions Limited, uh, based in the UK, and we've visited before. Uh, today we're going to have a look at their June catalogue, which is uh, going live uh, at auction for the 29th of June. It's the 28th today, so that is tomorrow, so another kind of uh, late uh, review of the auction going to have a look at their catalogue I believe that there are about 140 lots I think it goes up to about 141 but I think there's one or two uh, withdrawn uh, so without further ado let's just get on to it uh, remember that I'm not really particularly knowledgeable about pianos uh, maybe some older kind of uh, keyboard instruments but uh, we'll uh, go through it anyway um buyers premiums 24 percent as always have a look at the terms and conditions uh, obviously shipping very difficult for a piano so probably most likely uk uh kind of type sales maybe some in europe but uh, have a look and see what you think so here we have a knight upright uh walnut uh, piano there um five to seven hundred uh kawaii grand piano from 1989 Two and a half to four and a half. Uh, Young Chan uh, upright piano, six to eight hundred. Uh, Yamaha from 1991, four to six. A grand piano Steinway upright from 1882, five to seven. That's quite uh, elaborate. Ooh, a Petrov from 1988, two to four thousand there. Uh, a Hoffman from 1970, four to six thousand. A Schimmel from 1989 1500 to 2000 a Yamaha from 1980 3 to 5000 a Steinway from 2014 5 to 7000 a Bluthner from 1906 1000 to 1500 a Samek from 1991 6 to 800 a Bosendorfer from 1938 6 to 8000 a Beckstein uh, from the 1930s 1500 to 2000 Another Bosendorfer from 1983, an upright 6 to 8,000. A Kawai Grand uh, piano, 3 to 5,000 there, 1989. A Yamaha uh, upright piano from 1985, 2 to 5,000. A Beckstein from 1931, 2.5 to 3,000. Uh, a Yamaha piano upright from 1976. A Steinway from 1927, a Grand, 6 to uh, 8,000 there. And on to the next page. Uh, a Wellmar, a Velmar in fact from 1998, 1200 to 1800, another Bosendorfer upright from 1929, 1500 to 2000, a Beckstein Grand Piano in Walnut, 1937, 3 to 4000, um, H. Peters & Co. Leipzig and London Miniature Rosewood uh, Piano, uh, 3 to 500 pounds there, uh, Steinway from 1910, a Grand Piano 6 to 8, a Brinsmead, oh, from uh, 1855, 6 to 800. Let's have a quick look at that. That's a little bit different. <coughs> Haven't heard of that uh, maker before. John Brinsmead and Sons. That's uh, that's an interesting looking one, that one. They've got condition reports and things as well. Looks like they're on live auctions. Makes sense get yourself out there an upright piano in a birch case with carved keyboard supports and an ornate framework front panel together with two glass framed items one with photos of Vesta Tilly in various costumes and a sketch of her seated at the Brinsmead piano with her husband Sir Walter de Fress. interesting that's a curious one a Yamaha grand piano from 1986 three to five thousand uh, a Furich uh, piano from 1980 upright, 3 to 5,000. A Schimmel from 1985, Grand, 7 to 9,000 there, yeah. Yamaha from 2010, 8 to 12,000. Beckstein from 1905, 7 to 1,000. Another Beckstein, but a Grand piano from 1895, 1,000 to 1,500. A Kawaii from 2013 upright, 1,000 to 1,500. Ooh, a double manual harpsichord, uh, 1 to 1,500. 7 foot 7 inches double manual harpsichord in a forte piano case possibly dating from the 1800s when a trestle stand reputedly restored by Goebel in 1949 and later by Robert Deegan in 1985 it's got a Venetian swell and well, that's interesting these are not so common the Venetian swell there's a like a 
I think it's on the pedal you can basically it opens up like a kind of shutter like all along these different panels and you can basically it's almost like kind of swelling like sustaining the note in some kind of more primitive uh, manner you see it on a few of these kind of uh, harpsichords uh, it's probably not 100% accurate description on how it works but yeah you can see these shutters like they'll all op like open like if you're opening they're all open at the same time like uh yeah like shutters on a window or something and you can yeah swell the the notes of it it's quite quite interesting that uh is a very low price though for something like that i still just can't understand the prices on these things uh steinway from 1893 six to eight thousand uh yamaha upright from 1986 three to four thousand uh pearl river uh from 2001 seven to nine hundred a uh, Yamaha from 1974, uh, 3 to 5,000. A Petrov from 1987, 6 to 800. Um, a Steinway from 1905, 12 to 18,000. And a Suzuki upright, um, 8 to 1200. A Beckstein from the 1930s, 1500 to 2000. Yamaha from 2000, 1, to Steinway from 1887, uh, 79,000, a Petrov upright, 1982, 800 to 1200, uh, lot 47 is withdrawn, was it a Velmar, uh, a Steinmeier upright, 6 to 800, Beck Stein uh, from the 1930s, 1200 to 1800, a Petrov from 2006, 8,000 to 12,000, uh, and then a Yamaha upright from 2004, 900 to 1200. Yamaha from 1991, Grand Piano 4 to 6000, a Kawai Upright from 1961, 1400 to 1800, another Kawai Grand Piano uh, 6 to 8000 from 2008, uh, Jack Samuel by Beckstein 2002 to 3000, uh, withdrawn a Bluthner Grand Piano there, uh, Beckstein from the 1900s, uh, Grand 1000 to 1500, uh, B Squire Upright uh, Piano. Uh, six to eight hundred. That's curious. A uh, Kawai uh, Grand Piano from two thousand ten, seven to ten thousand. Um, Steinway um, Grand Piano, ten thousand to fifteen thousand. And lot sixty one. A Kawai from nineteen seventy seven, twelve hundred to eighteen hundred. Um, a Schimmel from nineteen eighty four, four thousand to six thousand. A Grand Piano. Yamaha from 2004, 2.5 to 3.5 thousand. Bluthner from 1923, 1000 to 1500. Steinway from 1886, Grand Piano, 2 to 4000. Beckstein from 1900, 8 to 1200, upright. Uh, Yamaha from 1998, it's a Grand Piano, 4 to 6000. Uh, Jacques Samuel by Beckstein, 2000, upright piano, 2 to 3000. Uh, Kawai from 2011, 7 to 10,000, a Grand Piano there. A uh, Grand Piano by Steinway, 1981, ooh, 25,000 to 30,000. Description Amendment, a 6 foot 11 inch model B Grand Piano in a satin ebonized case on square tapered legs with a tool. Stool even, <laughs> not a tool, with a tool. Hmm, I don't think I've seen like a matte finish uh, Steinway before. That's interesting. Oh, fancy. Very nice. So that's twenty-five to thirty thousand estimate. So that's quite high. Uh, Yamaha upright from 1978, two to three thousand. A Beckstein from 1896, three to five thousand. An Offenbach 1988, six to eight hundred. Uh, a Steinway 1987, eight to ten thousand. Uh, Bosendorfer 2009. Ooh, uh, thirty-five thousand to forty thousand. A six, six foot seven inch model two hundred interesting that's very uh, expensive on there and both and dolphins I didn't really realize that they were so uh, expensive to be honest um, a Velmar from 1939 700 to 1000 uh, upright a Steinway upright from 1928 2 to 3000 Essex by Steinway 2002 3 to 5000 a grand piano Markson from 1995, 6 to 800. Um, a Steinway from 1968, 10 to 15,000. 
New York Model L Grand. And a Bosendorfer from 1922, 46,000. A Scheidmeyer from 1889, 1500 to 2000, a Grand piano there. Yamaha Upright from 2008, 1200 to 1800. Uh, an August Forster uh, from 1986, three to five thousand grand piano. A Steinway grand piano from 1893, eight to uh, twelve thousand. Oh, a Tompkinson Square piano from 1825, six to eight hundred, fully restored in the recent past. I just still don't understand how none of these have any value anymore. I just, you know, they're just kind of works of art really, but they just don't, no one wants them at all, it's really, really quite mad that uh, they just don't have any value anymore, it does make me sad a bit. Um, then a Beckstein Grand Piano, 1 to 1500, a Beckstein Upright, 1981, 3 to 5000, a Yamaha from 2008 to 7000, a Steinway from 1970, 15,000 to 20,000, Ooh, a spin it by Alan Weir, uh, 8 to 1200. That's interesting. So for modern uh, spin it there. Looks quite nice. Nicely made. Good opportunities there to probably get a good, good deal. Uh, Yamaha Upright from 2000, 1000 to 1500. Uh, Yamaha Grand Piano from 1995, 5 to 7000. Beckstein from 1904, Upright 3 to 500. Steinway from 1908, Grand Piano 5 to 7000. Yamaha Upright from 1989, 2 to 3000. Yamaha from 2009, Grand Piano 10 to 15000. A Ripon from 1960s, um, 6 to 8000. In a rare aluminium framed grand piano uh, walnut case. It's interesting actually because I've never heard of that um, maker before, Ripon. Oh wow, okay, yeah, that is something different. Interesting aluminium frame. I have never seen that before. So that's good. That's why it's nice to look at these auctions and see stuff that's, uh, that you haven't seen before. So that's good. Yep, never saw that before. So that's good to know. Excellent. Uh, Yamaha Upright Piano, 2 to 2000. A Steinway from 2008, a Grand Piano, 28,000 to 32. So that's quite a, a high end one there. Uh, Yamaha Upright from 2010, 1500 to 2000. A Kwai Grand Piano from 2011, 8 to 12,000. A Kemble from 1989, 400 to 600 pounds, an Upright. Steinway Grand Piano from 1936, 12 to 16,000. A Bosendorfer uh, Grand Piano from 1924, 4 to 6,000. A Petrov Upright from 2015, 2,800 to 3,200. Uh, a Yamaha Grand Piano from 1994, 4 to 6,000. Petrov Upright from 1997, 1,200 to 8, 1,800. Uh, a Yamaha Grand Piano from 1964, 3 to 5,000 um, pounds. Steinway um, Grand Piano from 1928. Images will be available on Friday the 25th of June. Well, I think it's gone past that and there are no uh, images, so that's interesting. 23 to 30,000. Uh, a Hoffman and Schultz uh, Upright Piano, 2003, 500 to 800. Oh, look, an Erard Grand Piano from 1868, two to 3,000. I just don't understand it. Although the key, it looks like this had some uh, issues with the keys there yes it's lost some of its uh, ivory I presume that was here the ivory kind of veneer interesting though nice very nice case that it has yeah, also not a high value item at all really good good make Erard uh, Yamaha upright from 1991 800 to 1200 Beckstein Grand Piano from 1929, 1500 to 2000. A Steinway Grand Piano from 1881, 2 to 3000. Yamaha Upright from 2014, 46,000. Uh, Yamaha Grand Piano uh, from 1980, 46,000. Uh, lot 118 withdrawn. A Steinmeyer Upright Piano. A Quiet Grand Piano withdrawn again. Uh, Yamaha Upright, 8 to 12,000 pounds is the estimate there. So a few things withdrawn. 
um, lot one two one uh, withdrawn a Steinway Grand uh, Yamaha upright piano for nineteen ninety seven two and a half to three and a half Yamaha uh, grand piano uh, three to four thousand from nineteen eighty eight Yamaha upright piano from nineteen seventy four six to eight hundred Steinway grand piano nineteen twenty two uh, ninety twelve thousand a knight upright piano from nineteen sixty nine two to three hundred uh, a Grotrian Steinweg from nineteen twenty eight um, a grand piano two and a half to three and a half thousand Yamaha upright piano from nineteen ninety one thousand to fifteen hundred a Kemble upright piano uh, eighteen hundred to two thousand two hundred um, a Steinway grand piano from nineteen twenty two three to five thousand. Uh, a goth clavichord a walnut um 1956 800 to 1200 is a good opportunity to get yourself a clavichord another goth uh, clavichord from 1967 uh five to seven hundred looks slightly kind of smaller but looks very nice uh a broadwood uh grand piano uh 1000 to 1500 a s ritter upright piano four to six hundred an Offenbach from 1999 uh, grand piano 1500 to 2000 Steinway grand piano from 1903 9 to 12,000 Broadwood upright piano from 1910 2 to 300 um, uh, Vil, uh, Vil Steinman from 1970s 1000 to 1500 uh, a Yamaha upright piano 2000 to 3000 um, withdrawn was a Yamaha up uh, right there and we have a Beckstein upright piano from 2001, uh, 7,000 to 9,000 there, lot one for one, and then no lots on the rest. Uh, so that has been uh, it really. That is a super speed through the piano auctions um, catalogue. So have a look if you're interested. A few interesting things. I think the double manual harpsichord there was pretty good with the Venetian swell. Uh, that's pretty rare and the estimate seemed pretty low. So I'd say that that is... Uh, probably quite a good bet but uh, an interesting auction a few different things if you're into pianos and keyboard instruments uh, I'm not that knowledgeable so I don't have much to say other than yeah an interesting auction and they seem to have these auctions fairly frequently every few months and they always have like a hundred plus instruments so I presume there's still a market for it it's just some of the older stuff doesn't seem to be really worth much but uh, anyway it's been an interesting auction uh, thanks for joining and yeah I'll put a link in the description and uh, check it out if you're interesting interested uh so until next time ciao for now many thanks for tuning in to the musical instrument investigator i hope that you enjoyed the video if you did then please like uh, subscribe and turn on notifications and watch out for the next video coming soon